Hello and welcome back to Tengu Simulations. Today we'll demonstrate two distinct methods for manually calculating the speed of the target. Method 1. The 315 rule. This method is really only useful if you're playing with contact updates enabled. All you need to do is drop a marker on the target and then you need to immediately start the clock and start counting 3 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm going to put the marker just ahead of the target's bow so by the time he reaches my marker um, I'll be able to, to press the chronometer so I'm gonna put it around here and then I'm going to activate my clock and count 3 minutes and 15 seconds at 3 minutes and 15 seconds I'm going to do the exact same thing so I'm going to put another marker on the target's bow so almost 3 minutes and 15 seconds Wasted a bit of time with the target, let's put it in the middle. That's fine, don't worry too much about it, you don't have to be pixel perfect. And now, much like the ranging method, all you have to do is draw a line between mark 1 and mark 2. You can do it with the ruler, you can do it with the compass, it doesn't really matter, you'll get the same reading, 0.7. Now multiply what you see by 10 and you'll get the target speed in knot. So, I believe this is the tanker right here, should be on our... 90 degrees yep indeed that's the tanker and according to our calculations it's doing seven knots let's actually check the automatic solution to see how close we are to seven knots all right so the automatic solution reads six knots this little deviation may actually be because we uh, were just a little bit late um, in putting the marker down so it could be that the target is doing 6.8 or 6.7 something like that and we calculated uh, 7.1 or 7.2, so this could be it. But yeah, generally speaking, close enough, one knot is not a terrible difference. And as I've said multiple times before, with a straight shot, uh, small changes in speed or range or even angle on bow don't really impact you all that negatively. Method 2. Center line method. The center line method is quite simple just requires a bit of math. I call this the center line method because what you do is you count how many seconds it takes for a ship to cross the center line of your scope bow to stern. So you put your center line just ahead of the target stern and as soon as the stern touches the center line you hit your clock and you start counting the seconds. So let's do that right now with a tanker. Uh, I'm gonna put it right ahead of the bow. As soon as it touches I start counting. So, now. Getting ready to deactivate the chronometer. Right about now. So we've got about 25 seconds, okay? The formula we're using to calculate the speed with this method is ship length divided by the time we counted, which is the time the ship requires to pass through our center line. And then we are going to multiply that number with 1.852, which is the amount of meters in a single knot. So let's begin with the calculations. First of all, of course, we need to identify the target to make sure we've got the correct data on it. So, uh, it is a small tanker, uh, it is a small tanker, the length is 94.8, we can round it up to 95. 95 divided by 25 seconds equals 3.8, and we take 3.8 and we multiply it by 1.852, which gives us 7.0376, and if we just round it down to 7, uh, that's actually the amount of knots. As you can see, the automatic solution already calculated 7 knots and we are dead on. Pretty damn good method all in all. Keep in mind that to get an accurate reading with this way, you need to be close to or at a dead stop. Of course, there are more speed calculation methods out there, however, they are a bit more advanced or specialized. They will have their own videos, so stay tuned for that. I hope this tutorial will prove useful to you. Tango signing out, good hunting.